What is up guys? In this video we're going to be creating the slide obstacle. So this is going to be fairly similar to the last two obstacles except the position is going to be a little bit different. So to start let's go into the CC slide obstacle class. We can actually just copy the initialization code from the CC attack obstacle class and we can just change it up a little bit. And really the only change we're going to do um, is we're going to change the height. And I guess one more. Let's We're going to make this um, yellow color just because so we can distinguish between the three different obstacle types. Awesome. And the reason we're increasing the height here is because we want to make sure that on every single device type, like whatever screen size you have, that it's going to go, it's going to reach to the top of the screen. Um, so a, th a height of 300 should be enough to do that. So after we do this, let's go into our generator class. Again, we're going to um, copy some of this code from the attack obstacle, and we're just going to change it up a little bit. So I'm going to say CC slide obstacle for the obstacle type. And right here, this is the one other thing we have to change. We have to change the Y coordinate of its position. Uh, we're going to create a constant at the top just because I think this makes it a little bit cleaner. It actually looks like I already have it written out here. So um, I'll just type it out again just for kicks, but it's going to be let k, k slide obstacle height. And it's going to be of type CG float. And it's going to be equal to 50. So all we're going to do now is we're going to add this to our y coordinate when we position our slide obstacle. So k slide obstacle height. And that should be good for our slide obstacle. So the reason, um, again, what, that we have this constant is just so it's easy to access at the top of our screen, because we might need to change this in the future. And it just keeps this cleaner so you don't just have random numbers kind of sitting around in the functions down here. So to test this out, let's do generate slide obstacle. And if all goes well, we should have every single obstacle type um, at least basically implemented. So we click and awesome. It looks like we are doing pretty good. We might need to change this up a little bit when we hit collision detection to make sure our ninja can actually go under there. Um, we might need to change the default speed. But yeah, that's going to be the basic implementation of the obstacle types. In the next video, we'll actually get them randomly generating.